Hey guys, come up with Paul back again. How's it going? Um, been a while, while there, um, the holiday and stuff over the summer, so I'm just getting back into the swing of doing um, these vids again. So I just want to start with some eBay stuff I've got in the last couple of weeks. So I've been collecting it up to do this video. So I'm going to start with, as you can see, an old uh, detective. Um, you can't really see there, it's the missing corner, it's number 374. Uh, um, I found on eBay, like I've said before, um, if you troll through eBay enough and do your filters right, you can get ones for like a fiver. So I got this for about, I think, for six quid or something. I just love that cover. Um, other than that corner though, it's in really good nick. Um, it's nice and glossy and really, really flat. Like, I'm really, really happy with it. And it's not one of like the mid 60s kind of cheesy camp ones. It's, I don't, I'm not even sure who wrote it. I can't find who wrote it. I'll have to check online. But the art's lovely. And it's a very serious issue, it's not, I, I don't want to use the word dark, because everyone uses that term with Batman, but it is quite a gritty um, uh, book, and it's one of the best splash pages I've ever seen um, in a there. Oh, there. stunning splash page. I haven't read it yet, but you know, fell over the cover, everything's in really good nick, it was only rated 1.8, but um, it's better than that, but um, no, I'm really happy with that. So. That's the first one. Next one, I've been getting a few special ones. Um, if you collect, to kind of collect. So, I've been toying whether or not to collect Legends of the Dark Knight for a few years. Um, I don't really consider this the actual start of it. I just have number one, I got the pink one. Um, if you know Legends of the Dark Knight, they all came like this with this cover in different colours. So I went for the pink one because why not. Um, so there's a description there of this is the first solo Batman book since 1940 and etc etc and also it, it looks lovely, it's Denny O'Neill um, writer so I'm sure it'll be a good story. I think it's a wee bit more about his history and his origin that kind of thing. And, but if you don't know um, Legends of the Dark Knight, um, it was kind of, most of the stories were of his early days and in between um, currently accepted canon. So. Um, I just wanted to get that because it's collector special and I just wanted to have the number one because like I said I'm kind of falling into that trap if you will of de deliberately collecting <clears throat> number ones like this X-Force number one number ones of titles I wouldn't normally collect um, so yeah so that's that next up though is one I've been looking for for years a very special one Vengeance of Bane number one so glad to have this um, I'm going to like a comic, um, not a comic con, but like a comic mart with just comics um, here in Northern Ireland soon. And Glenn Fabry, famous um, cover artist of Preacher mostly and other things, um, is going. He lives in Northern Ireland, so um, I want him to get to sign this. So again, this just arrived the other day, so I haven't got it. So if you don't know, it's this is Bean's first appearance. Um, Chuck Dixon, Graham Nolan, lovely art, I haven't read it yet but well, it's a great nick, but it's just really prominent to have, and obviously as well as that, that was 1993, it's sequel from 95, The Redemption, so I don't quite know what that's supposed to be about, they're, birth, they're both first editions, um, because Vengeance of Bane 2 I suppose is technically set after Nightfall, and you can tell the difference in only two years, the, the interior paper is different. So within between 1993 and 95 they've changed the paper stock, so there you go. But um, yeah, I suppose technically Nightfall would have ended and he would have beaten them by then, so I don't know what chapter 2 will technically be about. But there you go, Vengeance of Bane 1 and 2, first appearance of, of the legendary Bane, both um, Glenn Fabry cover, so I'll be getting him to sign them in a few weeks. And lastly, speaking of Glenn Fabry, not... Batman, but um, Hellblazer again, um, number 52. So this is the first Glenn Fabry um, cover on Hellblazer. So a while ago I got the first Hellblazer which had um, Fabry, Garth Ennis and the late, great uh, Steve Dillon. Um, but this is the first Hellblazer cover that Glenn Fabry did. So um, currently now, if you're reading any modern comics, Fabry is doing the covers for the American Gods um, series, so if you're watching that, and he's he's doing some tie-in stuff with the Preacher TV show, but um, in comics-wise, he's doing a lot of the covers for um, American Gods comic series. 
but that's just his first one for Hellblazer. So that's all my my haul for this month, Hellblazers and a few Batman. So just wanted to share that with you. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope to have another one up soon. So leave a like if you want. Share and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Bye.